here we have the preparation of potassium per iodate using the chlorine capture method. In the beaker that's serving as our reaction vessel, we have 8.75 grams of potassium hydroxide and 5 grams of potassium iodate dissolved in a little over 100 milliliters of water. In the round bottom flask on the left, we have potassium permanganate reacting with hydrochloric acid to produce chlorine gas. This is traveling into the beaker and bubbling out the bottom of the tube. Right. All right, it's been about 25, 30 minutes, and we can see a precipitate of potassium per iodate floating on the top of the liquid, and a few crystals on the bottom. I'd say we're about halfway done. I'm going to leave it for an hour. And get back. We are about an hour, about 50 minutes to be more exact, into the synthesis. At this point, we can see pretty dense white precipitate on the bottom of the beaker. And I have had to add hydrochloric acid again twice to the chlorine generator. But everything seems to be going well. I'll stop it in about 10 minutes and let you know what's going on then. All right, now it's been about a good hour. I'm about ready to finish here. One interesting thing I'd like to note is that I started with a little over 100 milliliters of water. Now I'm down to a little under 50. I mean, obviously because I've been heating it and a lot has been evaporating away. Just something interesting to note. There's a lot of precipitate down there now, so I think we are done. I'm going to be putting the tube that the chlorine generator feeds to into a solution of sodium hydroxide I made to catch any remaining chlorine, adding hydrochloric acid to the reaction vessel to precipitate all the potassium per iodate, and then discarding the liquid. Um, I will be back when this is over. Okay, here we are, finished product. The beaker on the left contains the potassium per iodate. I poured off the solution into the beaker on the right, but decided that there was enough crystals down there that I would try to save them. So I'm letting both dry out, and then I'm going to collect my product.